For more on this, uh, we are joined by Sara Sarwar, uh, who is the head of Chancery Pakistan Embassy in Seoul. Uh, thank you for your time, Sara. Please tell us how the pilgrimage was arranged. Uh, so, you know, regarding this visit, it has been a very um, hectic and tiresome job uh, due to the efforts of our embassy and in particular the efforts of our uh, ambassador, His Excellency Mr. Rahim Hayat Qureshi. Uh, due to his untiring efforts, this visit was made possible. And uh, it's not just that uh, due to the efforts of our embassy, but also, you know, if we look at Pakistan now, the situation is very stable. Their security is no more a concern. And uh, the that is the reason why visitors and tourists who intend to visit Pakistan, they already they, they show ready acceptance to visit Pakistan because of its security environment and because they're pretty much satisfied with it. And um, also the facilitative atmosphere that is uh, that is being provided by the government of Pakistan due to its uh, recent initiatives and its particular focus on uh, tourism, uh, tourism to uh, bring tourism to Pakistan. This atmosphere, this conducive, uh, conducive atmosphere has, you know, has been able, that is the reason why we have been able to arrange this pilgrimage um, to Pakistan. Sarah, please tell us about the religious significance of the pilgrimage to Pakistan by South Korean Buddhists. Buddhist exchange between the two countries is very old. And um, if we look at uh, this current visit, then, uh, you know, Pakistan is the center of Buddhism. Uh, Gandhara, which is now Pakistan, it, it was the center of Buddhism and there was once the largest Buddhist population that was uh, that was living in, in Pakistan. There are so many historical and archaeological sites that are um, that are of considerable value to, to the Buddhist uh, to the Buddhists uh, all over the world and in particular Korea. Uh, like uh, we have recently also discovered um, a sleeping Buddha that is the oldest statue of uh, sleeping Buddha in Bhamala. And there are so many other um, living uh, living sites. There is a Manthal rock in Gilgit. There's a sacred rock of Hunza. There are so many archaeological sites in Takhtabahi, Mardan, Peshawar. Uh, that, that that are so uh, important and significant for this for these uh, buddhists that even recently we have seen that uh, uh, you know there was a, a thai monk delegation that visited pakistan and there were uh, monks from china who visited pakistan and now these korean monks are visiting uh, pakistan so which shows that pakistan has been has been a cradle of civilization and it has been of significant value um, for this uh, for this tourists that are going to Pakistan. Sarah Sarwar, head of Chancery Pakistan Embassy in Seoul, thank you for talking to Indus News.